So, um, welcome, Julia. Just wanted to say hi and thank you so much for allowing us to interview you briefly today. Um, for, for those of you who don't know either of us, I am Natalie with One North Broad, and this is Julia Kariva with Slay Displays. Um, in, in our normal lives, we work in the special event field, but Julia has pivoted some of her natural talents to, um, you know, making face shields for uh, healthcare workers right now. And so we just wanted to give her a platform to tell us a little bit about, uh, about what she's doing. Hello everyone. Again, my name is Julia from Slay Displays. For people who don't know us, uh, we are on a daily basis. <laughs> um, we're creating custom decor. We're also renting um, unique decor like marquee ladders. We have floral ladders. We have beautiful live sequin walls. But when a crisis happens and when there is a worldwide strategy, we just, you know, see what we can do and you know how we can apply our talent and our skill and the tools that we have into helping people to help others that's awesome so what gave you what gave you the idea what what made you realize that you could sort of repurpose your materials to doing this I want to say it was it was Saturday evening when the, our typical Saturday evening that we're normally slammed working our you know heads off and um, we were watching the news and I saw, um, I think it was Elon Musk who was donating his, um, like again, utilizing his shops and his um, materials that he has and creating the ventilators and donating that to the hospital. I was mm -hmm. literally sitting there on a the couch and staring. I was like, I wanna do something like that. We are small, we're a small company. Mm -hmm. We are almost one year on the market. We are like really fresh meat on the market. <laughs> and I'm like, but what can we do with having what we have? Obviously we cannot create the ventilators. We do not have funds or skills or tools for it. Right. Uh, and then I just saw a Facebook ad um, about Chinese selling face shields to us uh, saying like, oh yes, you guys, you can protect yourself and it's only gonna be $20, no problem. You know, you're gonna get it in four weeks. And I was like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> and we looked at the product and I'm like, well, we can, we can make it. Like we know the suppliers who are working because they're considered essential business. They are pro producing plastic. Uh, so they are our typical suppliers when we need to get plastic for our designs or displays that we're creating. Uh, so we went to them and um, we pre-ordered because they were out, to be honest with you. Uh, so we pre-ordered with them. We just got um, some plastic from them. But the first uh, batch of plastic I had to get from Northern Jersey. Okay. So it was quite a travel. Um, so I, I'm going too far, <laughs> too far from it. So this is how we decided to create it. Yeah. Uh, we just, you know, we were playing with it, we were testing it, uh, and um, I contacted a couple of people uh, who were in the field. I was like, do you guys want to try it out to see how it works, whether it's comfortable? And we got a really good positive feedback, and all of that was like in a two-day period. And wow. we just decided to go live on Facebook and started kind of, kind of mass production to the best of our ability, two people creating it. How many have you made so far? We about we have about like thirteen hundred so far. Wow, okay. thirteen hundred. Yeah. <laughs> and where where are they going? Are individuals um, getting them, or are they going to facilities? They are going to facilities, and unfortunately, we cannot supply all of the staff in the facility, like like hospitals. We are my main concern. My main, I want to say, area of the where I'm concentrating would be the ED, the emergency department mm -hmm. and the ICU. Now that we started getting way, like a lot, probably the past over a week and a half, also a lot of hospitals are getting COVID floors and a lot of COVID um, positive cases. Yeah. And they're like, they are closing the whole floor and they have nurses from, are they pulling nurses from other departments? So we've been donating to these departments as well. Unfortunately, uh, we cannot, we simply don't have funds. We don't have enough material. We just can't, we're not selling it. We are donating it. Right. We cannot help um, <laughs> like uh, individuals because we did have um, uh, elderly people reaching out to us, ask like, oh, can I buy one from you? 
and I wish we could, but we we can't. We can't yeah. just because um, there are people who are on the front line. There's more the more demand than supply right now. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And again, like we're not looking to make a business out of it. It's just like we're making it until we can, until we fall. You know. <laughs> Um, so one question that we have kicked around um, in our in our own One North Broad office that we are trying to ask everyone because we're trying to have our own uh, gratitude practice every day is what is something you are grateful for today? Not just today. I want to say every day. It is very important to remember that it's going to be over and it's going to be over soon mm -hmm. um every person and i see it because i am i'm bilingual i'm coming from a different country and pandemic just hit just starting to hit my home country i come from russia so they are they've been on a quarantine for a week so far mm -hmm. they were on a big denial so so were we yeah. Most of the people in the United States, first week or two, they were in a denial mode. They're like, no, there's no way that's happening until it became brutal. Yeah. Um, it's just, there's a denial, then there's angry because everybody's looking for somebody to be wrong. Everybody's looking for, you know, for, you know, somebody to be like, who, who to blame. And then at the end of this whole thing, you get the acceptance. So I am grateful for that we got this acceptance very soon and we were able to figure out how we can help because mm -hmm. definitely, and you know, how it's, I don't even know how to say this, but it is important to accept. So this is what's happening. And like, what is, what am I going to do now? Like, you know, figuring out the escape plan, figuring out like how you, what you're going to do when this whole thing is over, what is your plan B and how you can engage your audience um, not to lose that audience over that, you know, quiet time as we can call it. And so I'm grateful for having the ability to help people and motivate people to do that. Right. Um, because, you know, I feel like positive, uh, attitude is very contagious and this is what we're trying to spread. Well, I agree with you. I think, uh, I think that positivity and, um, you know, ways to, ways to help right now are, are, are good things to spread. So, <laughs> um, so thank you, Julia, so much for, um, for letting me interview you very briefly today. And uh, we look forward to sharing all of this with, um, with everybody we can. And I cannot wait to celebrate with you all when this whole thing is over. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> thank, thank you. Stay safe. Stay safe. <laughs> Have a good day.